Hello everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. It's another DIY craft. I've got a pop-up gift box that we've created here at the studio and I thought I'd share it with you. It's a really fun craft and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how to make this really fun pop-up craft. And what's cool is you can kind of customize it to be whatever you want. So it's, it's very simple to sort of put together and what you're gonna do is, like we always do, download the templates down on the bottom. Click on the link and print it onto cardstock. I'm not gonna sing anymore, I promise. I'm really excited because I got a new microphone, so maybe it sounds better. And I'm just excited to, uh, to sing in front of it. That's maybe what it is. Okay, so we've downloaded the templates onto cardstock. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to score all the dotted black lines, okay? So we do that every time. And scoring the line, what it does is it, uh, it actually breaks up the paper fibers uh, in a really, you know, minutely. And it's much easier for um, our pop-up pieces to fold. And we're gonna use a, a large paper clip and a ruler. And we're gonna, we're gonna like press with the edge of that large paper clip. Um, along each one of those dotted black lines, okay? So whenever you see those dotted black lines on all our templates, that always means, hey, this is where a fold is, okay? So, and we're gonna need to score it first. And we always score before we cut out the pieces just because we don't wanna rip the pieces um, when we're scoring. So it's easier to do it this way before we start cutting up the pieces. And that's what's next. So we get a pair of scissors or you can use a craft knife that's more comfortable for you. And we're gonna cut out all the pop-up pieces uh, and all the box pieces that we're making for this special um, pop-up box. I thought it would be really, really cool to teach you all how to make, um, you know, packages for things. Cause you know, you give gifts all the time and what can you do to make it extra special, right? So that's what this pop-up box is. We got a little something extra to be, as a surprise. Once, you, once you're, um, loved one opens it up and looks inside and whoa not only is there a gift inside there's a pop inside i love it um i just love this kind of stuff and i think it's really fun to to create it all righty we got all the pieces and what we're going to do before we actually um start putting these pieces together and we're going to glue it together um we're just going to pre-fold the pieces now it's really easy to pre-fold all these pieces because what do we do we scored it man we scored that's right, we scored all those pieces already. So you can see along all those dotted lines, that's where we fold. And that's where we're gonna assemble our um, box. So we're just pre-folding it. We're just kind of telling the paper, hey, that's this is where you need to fold. So that's what we're gonna do. And you're gonna also see on these templates, there are little gray areas. That is, those are gonna be some indicators and directions about where we are supposed to glue some of these tabs to make the pieces together. So, you know, just a little warning, that's what you're gonna see. And there's letters on things that will say, you know, glue E here, glue A here. And that's just to help you um, if you don't wanna listen to me uh, watching this video and you wanna speed through it on your own. Let's get started decorating. Now you're gonna turn each of these pieces that you um, uh, around to the other side, you're gonna turn it to the back side where you don't see the die lines. And that's where we're gonna start decorating. So, you know, we can put, now there's a little pop-up piece, see that little rounded piece right there? It's kind of an arched piece. You can, you can put whatever sort of greeting on that little piece right there. And then, you know, the outside of the box, you can decorate it however you like. And now, Let's get to assembling it. All right, now we're going to use just regular craft glue and I have a, a glue bottle here that kind of has a nozzle on it. You wanna, uh, you wanna make sure that you don't like squeeze out all that glue all at once and make a big old puddle. Okay, so let's glue this first tab on just like this. And you're gonna notice too, there's art on the opposite side. That's where we colored it on the opposite side. We didn't, we didn't have to color it on the inside. Okay, so we just glued that tab. And that's just extending the outside of our box. Because sometimes, you know, when you, you make a box, it's kind of a long piece that's folded a few times. So we didn't have enough paper on our templates. So we just kind of gluing all these um, different rectangles together in these pieces. All right, let's glue these tabs in place. And you're going to see that it aligns here and here. Now you're going to see a little corner piece that also glues on there, that little gray piece. But um, that that will we'll show you where to glue uh, the other pieces later on. So let's glue these two side pieces to our box in place. See, we'll just line it up right there. And you're gonna see it just, see, bam, right there. It glues in place. And that's, that's tab C, that's where that glues. 
And then we're going to glue this other side. Put some glue on the tab. And, you know, again, don't, don't put a huge amount on there. Um, and if you want, you can use a glue, uh, you can use a glue stick, or you can use double stick tape if you'd like. I, I would suggest, though, using regular, regular old Elmer's glue, regular craft glue, and press it into place. Make sure it's, see, it's just right there, and we, we press it and make sure it's positioned just right. All right, look at that. So we've got tabs D and C all lined up and glued into place. Whammy. All right, so that's the bottom of the box. See right there? So that white part is the bottom. But we've done all the sides. So now let's glue these tabs. Where do you think this? When we're making the box. All right, now we need to glue these tabs on. And it's, let's see, tabs E, F, G, and H. I, I know my alphabet. So we're going to glue these in place. And these are going to be, these, this is going to make our box close up. So we're going to put some glue in those gray areas just like this. It's pretty easy. It's pretty clear cut. And then put a little more, and we're going to glue this side. Let's put these two tabs into place. We can kind of bend it like this. We're just building a box. I'm sure everyone's done this before. But ours is special because it's got a pop-up inside. Okay, let's do these. This side here. And you know, also, if you don't want to decorate this like by with marker or colored mar colored crayon, you know, crayons or colored pencils or whatever on the outside, you can add paper to the outside too. You can you know you could add actual wrapping paper, um, cut it up and glue it on there if you want to. You could do all kinds. There's all kinds of ways that you could decorate it. You can do it however you like. You don't have to follow exactly what we've created here with our decoration. That is up to you. You are you are the artist. So let's let make it be what you want. Like maybe, you know, maybe, oh, we're gluing these tabs on, by the way. We know that we're gluing these tabs. But anyways, um, this is, you know, you're the artist and you could make this, maybe this is a, a birthday present. Maybe this is a Mother's Day present. Maybe this is, um, you know, maybe it's a theme. Maybe this, maybe you're going to be watching this at Christmas. Maybe it's a Christmas present. I don't know. But um, you decide how to decorate it. This is just an idea of how to decorate it. I'm sure you all could come up with even better idea. So, so we've we've glued the tabs to enclose our box. Look at that. Sometimes you got to press down on those tabs in place so that they, you know, they dry. And, and you know, again, with this, well, no, I, I didn't say it the first time. Why am I saying again? I shouldn't say again. Um, but uh, make sure you press the tabs down and let that glue dry. That's what I was trying to say. Gosh, I get I get so excited about the the project being done that um, I get ahead of myself. Okay, look at that. The box is done, but wait a minute. Where's our pop? We need to add the pop pieces. All right, so let's do that. Here we go. Here are these extra pieces. Now this is going to be our pop up piece. This here, this it's going to make a little shelf, and we're going to glue on the back of this rounded area. We're going to glue this piece right in there. Now the mechanism this is actually using is there's there's a layer. It's what it's really really simple. It's almost like flattening a box, but um, a layer is the mechanism that we're using to make this pop up open when the lid opens. Okay, so that's just for for all my paper engineering fans, all my pop up fans out there who want to know what sort of mechanism this is. It's super simple. It's just a layer, but it, it adds a nice little element extra. Okay, so see these little tabs here? That little tab is going to glue onto a certain area. But first, we need to glue this rectangle right there. See that rectangle there on that piece? That's right where it goes. All right, so let's fold it down. And it's going to make this little shelf. That's going to go inside our box. But first, first, we have to glue it into place. So that's where it's going to go, right there. So we glue in place and we're going to, and you can see there's a, a big gray rectangle there. So we're going to fill in that gray rectangle um, with glue and glue that tab into place. There I go. Just paint it on in there again. Don't overdo it with the glue. You just, you don't want a big puddle, but you just want to get enough in there so that it glues down and it glues down. Because if you, if you really, if you put a huge amount of glue in there, it takes forever to dry. And then you're like waiting and as it gets all puddly looking and warped and uh, it's, it's, it's not as pretty. Okay, so here is our 
backing of this. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. So see this big rectangle right here? It's gonna go on that big surface on the inside of our um, a box and it's, it's the inside below the, the lid. So we're just gonna put some glue, some more glue. Paint it on in there. Mmm, painting that glue right in place. I'm not gonna sing anymore. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we're gonna put that into place. And that's actually gonna strengthen our box a little too. And if you want your box to be a little more uh, strengthened, um, you can actually add more cardboard to the inside of it. I think it's gonna be pretty strong though because we've got all those corners. And we've got this extra pop-up glued on the inside. What a surprise. This could be really fun. Like you could you could make the box, you could, you know, have like a greeting on there for somebody. You could, um, you know, make a little picture like this one. Now we need to glue these little triangular tabs on the inside. So we're going to put a little glue like, yeah, we're going to put it right here. Oh, come on, glue. Get out of there. There we go. We got to make sure sometimes that the nozzle isn't clogged up. I have that happen all the time, and then I squeeze the belly, then I squeeze the glue bottle really, really hard, and I, I just about get it, and then it just like psh, explodes everywhere. So, anyways, we don't want that. Um, here is where she's gluing. See, she glued both of those triangle tabs just into place, just like that. I, as I was telling my glue story, of course. So you're gonna pinch them to make sure they're in place. See, they just go like that, and it makes kind of a shelf for our box. All right, now. We're gonna see, see that little um, sort of trapezoidal shape right there? It's a tiny little tab. And we're gonna glue that, the end right there on that gray spot right there. And we'll put some glue there. And then all you gotta do is press it into place. Let it glue, let it dry. Let it dry for just a second. You know, don't, don't rush, don't rush. Calm, heal, heal, you know what I'm saying? All right. It's been a long day here at the studio. I've got so much going on. I can't wait to share some of the stuff that's happening in the future here soon. I'm really excited. Um, but um, yeah, it's fun stuff. Okay, we made our box. Look at that. Look at that box. And it closes up. It has a nice little lip on the inside so you can put stuff in it. And they're like, oh, look at that. Hooray. Congratulations. Or whatever, you, whatever sort of um, greeting you want to put. Uh, on the outside and you could you know like if you wanted to add ribbon to the outside or you know do glitter or, or uh, wrappy bear, whatever it is um, I hope you've enjoyed making this gift box and I hope the person you give it to with whatever's inside they enjoy it too and they're surprised and boy I'm surprised that that I had so much fun making this this was a lot of fun hey everybody it's Matthew Reinhardt and I'm just saying uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you like this craft um, uh, what do they say? They say all these things that I'm supposed to say at the end of these videos. But, you know, I'm just so excited to share with you. Um, and that's it. All right. I'll see you next craft. Take care, everyone.